your, you know, what goes through your mind when you think about it? Okay, we were rolling and now, you know, we had a setback. You know, what, what goes through your mind when you think about that and how you guys can kind of, you know, reset this week and move forward? Yeah, I think it just kind of keeps us, it's like a reality check really, you know, like we've got a lot of things we can do a lot better. We did some good things Saturday, but there's still, you got to do more good things to be a good team like Georgia and we have more things we can do better to really be as best as this team can be. So that's really what we're focusing on now. There was a lot more running backs that got involved. Uh, did things change at all when different runners getting the ball? All right, we're, they're running the same plays that are called for whoever's in there. We're going to block it the exact same way. So it doesn't really change things for us because we, we trust all of our running backs to be able to hit the gaps the same way C-Rod would, the same way Smoke would. I mean, we have a really talented room in there. Those are really good running backs all the way from the freshmen like Lavelle all the way up to those experienced guys like C-Rod and Smoke. So we trust all of them to run their game plan the way we game plan it. How did those defensive tackles stack up against other guys you face? I and mean, that's probably the most talented team we've played all year, and I think that was pretty evident. Um, it, was just, it was a good experience to be able to get some competition like that, to have playing time against that caliber of a team. It's not something you get to do every week, and it's about as close to the NFL as you can get in college ball. So it was a good experience for us. It was a learning experience for us. You guys pride yourselves in being able to run against anybody. Yeah. So was that film session difficult to, to have to watch? I mean, it's a tough pill to swallow. Like I said, everyone knows the big blue wall, and so not to being performing to our standard is a tough pill to swallow. It's something we're going to take as a chip on our shoulder as the season. Did, did they do anything different than the first four or five snaps? You all had offensive coach. You had you know, pretty good runs early on. No, it was, it was just uh, little things here and there that we just needed to clean up as, as a unit. I mean, they, they stuck, Georgia stuck to their game plan and just we didn't execute ours to the level we wish we would have. Everybody good? A lot of times when you lose a game, there's a hunger, desire to get right back out there, yeah. you know, play again. But you've also played seven straight weeks and really physical football so is this is this a good time to have this open date or would you rather be playing somebody again i mean yeah it, it always leaves a bad taste in your mouth coming off of a loss so i think the best way to get that out especially during a bye week is to come out and have crisp fast practices during the bye week because it's not just like it isn't that we have the saturday off but it's not just an off week in general like we're still going to lift weights we're still going to practice fast as we can just make sure we're prepared for saturday against mississippi state all right am i good Oh, wait, last question. What do you do uh, aside just from working on football stuff? You got a bye week, obviously, you guys still have class. You yeah. Know, what is the bye week? you know, like for you guys to kind of just unwind just a bit. Yeah, Stoops is really good to us about our time. And uh, just during the bye week, we're still going to practice, but he might just condense them a little bit, doing some things like that, getting you a, not just off, not resting completely, but just getting you off your feet a little bit, getting you rested up and letting guys have a little time off just to be a college student for a day or two. Yeah.